The following SIGNODE safety video shows a SIGNODE compression strapping system, including a control panel, control console, hydraulic pump, batten feeder, and edge protector applicators. At SIGNODE, our plants carefully design, manufacture, assemble, and test SIGNODE power strapping equipment to ensure that it meets strict performance requirements. When you purchase a SIGNODE strapping system, our sales and service representatives train your personnel to use and maintain the equipment safely and correctly. This video will help educate you about personal protective equipment, general housekeeping, and safety procedures for machine service. To prevent injuries, it's extremely important that equipment operators and bystanders wear personal protective equipment, or PPE, as required by OSHA and the safety personnel at your facility. Maintaining a clean, uncluttered work area will also help prevent injuries. Be sure that the strap path from the dispenser to the chute system does not interfere with traffic patterns, causing a trip hazard. Also, be sure that the dispensers are working properly and the strap does not spill out onto the floor. Always dispose of used strapping, coil packaging materials, and edge protectors in designated disposal or recycling containers. All operators and service personnel must be fully trained before operating or working on SIGNOTE equipment. Only personnel who are trained and authorized specifically to work on electrical equipment should attempt to service the strapping system's electrical components. Never change the preset logic in the programmable logic controller. Doing so could cause serious personal injury or machine damage. SIGNODE conducts comprehensive operation and service training during installation. We also include an operation, parts, and safety manual with every strapping system. If, after completing training and reviewing the manual, you have any questions regarding proper safety or operating procedures, ask your SIGNODE representative for help. SIGNODE power strapping systems are equipped with machine guarding to help prevent injuries and safety labels to alert you to possible hazards. Be sure that all safety labels and control panel identification plates are in place, legible, and are not damaged or unreadable in any way. If you need to replace any labels, contact your SIGNODE service representative. Guarding around moving machine parts helps eliminate crush, shear, and pinch hazards. All covers and guards must be in place when the equipment is in operation. Take additional precautions to ensure that all electrical components are working properly. Keep panel covers closed to protect the electrical components from dust and debris. Keep operators and bystanders away from live electrical wires and parts. Check illuminated controls for burned out bulbs, replacing bulbs as necessary. All emergency stop and pressure release buttons, cycle fault interrupt key switch, and lockout devices must be working properly. Ensure that all customer interlocks provided by SIGNODE in the electrical panel are properly wired to ensure that SIGNODE's Z30 MP2 lumber machine communicates properly with all non-SIGNODE system components, such as conveyors, turntables, and squaring devices. Also, be certain that all applicable local electrical codes are followed by contacting your local licensed electrician. The SIGNODE provided emergency stop buttons located on the electrical control panel, on the opposite side of the machine structure, and on the hydraulic pump will illuminate when activated, removing all control power in the main control panel. Once activated, power cannot be restored from these emergency stop buttons. The SIGNODE provided interface with the panel view also comes with a non-illuminated emergency stop push-pull button. When this button is activated, all control power in the main control panel is removed and the system enable push button is disabled. To reset the main control panel, 
press the System Enable Push button on the Signode provided interface with the panel view, which will illuminate green and indicate the system is ready for use. Before servicing the machine or walking on conveyors, follow your plant's procedure for locking out power to Signode's Z30 MP2 equipment and all adjoining equipment. Lower the platen to its lowest position or raise the platen to its full upright position. Engage both of the platen latch pins. Lower the platen onto both platen latch pins. Put the machine into the interrupt mode and follow your plant's lockout tagout procedures for securing and isolating all power sources. When servicing the strapping head, you will need electrical power. Instead of locking out power, lower the platen to its lowest position or raise the platen to its full upright position. Engage both platen latch pins. Lower the platen onto the platen latch pins. Switch the machine to interrupt mode on the control console and again take the key with you. When in the interrupt mode, only electrical power to the strapping head and edge protector applicators remains on, allowing you to feed and take up strapping, index the strapping head, and test the edge protector applicators. The machine must also be in interrupt mode when you refill the edge protector applicators. Now that you know how to safely operate and service your Signode compression strapping system, the following are some common misuses of the equipment that can cause serious injuries. The following are examples of how not to use power strapping equipment. Never ride the platen. Never walk on conveyors or under the platen when the power is on. Never walk in front of the photo eyes when the machine is in automatic mode. The strapping system will react as if you were a lumber load and begin the strapping cycle. Never service, clean, or lean on the machine or place body parts in the machine when the power is on. Stay away from all moving machine parts. Never change the preset logic in the programmable logic controller. Doing so could cause serious personal injury or machine damage. By avoiding these dangerous practices and always following the safety guidelines for clothing, housekeeping, and machine maintenance, you will reduce the chance of injury while working with Signode power strapping equipment. Be sure that all operators view this video prior to using any Signode power strapping system.